All right, everybody, welcome back to the office at Whitetail Ridge, and I have a question for the peanut gallery really quick. If anyone can help me out, I would be greatly appreciative. I have a 1947 International TD-14 bulldozer. I bought this thing from an older gentleman not far from my home here, and I have been working on it. It ran when I picked it up. He was having trouble getting it to fire over on diesel. And he told me a couple of things that he had to do. And he said most likely that was probably all it was. But he was just tired of messing with it. And quite honestly, he just couldn't figure it out. Um, if I remember correctly as well, though, he did say that he tried loosening up what they call the rack. Inside of this here. Um, oh, diesel injector pump. And see, here's the problem. I'm mechanically inclined enough, but on some of this equipment, I, I'm not an expert. I mean, I'll just be the first one to tell you that. I'm not an expert, and I know there are people out there that are far more knowledgeable than myself. And I, personally, would be very grateful if you could enlighten me with some of that knowledge. So, the, the way I understand this is I have what they call a Bosch injection pump, and that is based off of the single filter setup over here. That's what I know, I think. I don't know, that's what I've been told. This is supposed to be a 1947 TD-14, not a TD-14A, not a 141 or a 142, but a TD-14. And again, that is what I am told. And according to numbers I have been able to find, that is exactly what it is. But I, again, do not know. I am not a subject matter expert here. So question is, really, to get this over with, because it's not that hard, we're obviously looking at the injection pump. The things I have gone through so far is that I could get it fired on gasoline, no problem. It would run... I would show a little bit of pressure on the gauge, but I was told this gauge really doesn't mean crap when it comes to actual fuel pressure. Um, what I was getting into was making sure that I was getting fuel at each one of the injectors. And I did check that, and I was getting fuel. After, I think it was this one right here that it was barely drizzling out of, and I don't know why, but the other ones, it was kind of... I don't want to say jetting out because it wasn't jetting out, but it definitely wasn't like fire hose and people were telling me it should be coming out like a fire hose and that is also not the case. It was coming out in a good steady stream as if you had a garden hose just in the on position. So I have checked that. I have bled these out with the bleeders, making sure there was fuel coming out and I was getting fuel there. Now, what I'm being told is that I'm not getting fuel, and I agree, I'm not getting fuel up to the injectors, or maybe not enough fuel up to the injectors. So, what is the problem? Why am I not getting enough fuel there? I need to have that question answered. Because I've come down here, and I currently have this pump open, and they're telling me, make sure the rack's not stuck. Make sure the rack's not stuck. Okay, that's fine and dandy. Make sure the rack's not stuck. Let me put the throttle back down here. Um, but can someone tell me what the rack is? Because I've gone in here, I've had this whole thing apart, and there was like a plunger looking deal down in here that I pulled up and down and wiggled up and down, and it did feel like it was stuck. But they were saying something about putting a 7 16 wrench on a part and rotating it they said don't try to force it over because you can actually damage it but this is not 7 16 and this is freely moving and actually i don't know if i can let me see if i can get this out of here for you really quick i just had this barely stuck on in place so that way i could do something i was checking to see if you could run this with that cover off without any issue and yes, you can, but here's the deal. What is, what is the rack? Is that the rack? Because this, this will, this will move freely and it moves about a half to three eighths of an inch like what people were telling me. 
So is that the rack? Is that what's possibly stuck? Because I can get this thing to move pretty good. That's topped out right there, and that's bottomed out right there. And I also heard there might be some kind of adjusting that needs done in here. So either way, with that said, what is the rack? What do I have to check for on this 1947 TD-14 to make sure that it's not stuck inside this pump and that I'm getting the proper amount of fuel up to my injectors? If anyone could assist me with this, I would be really appreciative. And man, it would really help me out. So any kind of information pertaining to this situation from someone who is knowledgeable on it, I would be in your debt and would appreciate that. So thank you for watching. And if you can give me answers on what the rack is, if there's anything else I need to look at inside of here or any other potential issues that I may be running into, that would really help. Thank you for watching and have an amazing evening.